I'm just jotting down some notes in my journal because today I want to give you guys some words of advice. I have a bunch of clips of me painting the ceramics that I made in the last video. So I thought I would just come in with some wisdom because I am 26 after all, I'm old. I wanted to talk about setting goals, but way before setting goals, you need to learn how to keep yourself accountable. So here are three things that I think will help you achieve the goals that you've set. Number one is setting a start date. A lot of people use the beginning of the year as a reason to start something new, to challenge themselves. And I think that's a good, a good thing. In the summer, I was running and biking outside and I told myself as soon as it starts to snow, I'm gonna join the gym and that's what I did. The day it snowed is the day I joined the gym. Unfortunately, the gyms are closed now, but my goal was to go three times a week, which I was keeping up with. And I'm kind of sad that it's closed, but as soon as they reopen, I'll be back taking the classes. Number two is setting attainable goals. So on that day, you're gonna start blank. Every time that I set the goal of working out at home, I never stuck to it. So I knew that if I wanted to exercise in the winter, there was no way that I could set the goal of working out three times a week in my house. If I'm in a class surrounded by people, I will work out and I will keep going because I'm paying for it. That's also holding me accountable. So maybe spending. I didn't put spending on the list, but typically if you're paying for some service, you're more likely to use it because you don't want that money to go to waste. Also, don't overwhelm yourself with having too many things to do. If you want to spend 15 minutes writing in your journal, practicing a new language, working out, did I say reading? 15 minutes reading, that's too many things. Choose one. So there are two things that I really want to focus on and that is going to the gym and public speaking. And so I can slowly add on maybe 15 minutes of reading to help me with my vocabulary. It really doesn't matter how long it takes to achieve your goals as long as you take the first step towards it. And the third piece of advice, the third and last, is being careful with who you share your goals with. Either write them out in a journal, or you can share your goals once you've already started or have achieved them. That way you can figure out if this is something that you actually enjoy on your own. For example, in my Montreal vlog, at the end of the video I said I had something fun planned for the next one. I did start working on that video that I talked about and I finished filming, but by the end of filming I didn't feel like editing it. And if you look at the next video on my channel, it's a vlog many months later. So I'm trying not to make promises to you as the viewer because now I know that some video ideas that I have might not be attainable goals. But if you do want people to keep you accountable, definitely share your goals because we're all trying to help each other. We want to see growth in one another, but that is a lot of pressure and that's why I would just keep them to myself. Before I end the video, I want to mention the artist Leah Gorin, who inspired the style of the figures I painted. 